All righty then. All right, I saw it. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> this was like a like like this is like a really like just really good episode. Like I, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. Like this is a really fucking good episode. Hell, even in this episode, even even the 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 the, the uh, Caroline the the Carolina scene. Even with that, even with that scene, their little fight with her that that was go, been going on longer than it should. Even with that part in included into this episode, this generally was actually just a really, really good fucking episode. Like it was great. Like like honestly, when I was looking at it, it actually got me in the edge of my seat when I saw this. I'm like, wow, man! It's like every scene, just just every. Every frame, just every, all of it was just really good. I may be just overselling it right now, but you know what? This was actually, it, it, it deserves it because this was like a really good scene. And honestly, I think this may be one of my shortest uh, Ruby rants, but you know, uh, I guess less is more to get the point across to tell you, you know, this little quick review and discussion board and whatnot was going on. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm literally just doing this joke by scratch and whatnot. Uh, yeah, this is like a really just really good fucking episode like really fucking good episode Like just it, it just it really did ca uh, kept me on the edge of my seat when I saw it uh, And especially during that <laughs> when I was looking at the episode I was doing like a really lot of like quips and and remark jokey and humorous remarks here and there and whatnot And through it, you know to keep you know myself invested in whatnot because of also the uh <clears throat> lack thereof comedy in Ruby. Uh, so yeah, you know, I just did a lot of inside jokes and quips and whatnot in this episode to keep me invested and in, in, in whatnot. And uh, when there was there was one particular scene where uh, where when Cali Vera was flying her jet around when she was uh, fighting uh, uh, when she was fighting Cunnelina in the mecha suit, uh, <laughs> I did just one thing where she said. Uh, Hey Carolina, I got I got one missile and I know where I'm gonna stick it. And you know when that scene came up, you know a whole lot of shit was just going right through my mind. Just all that shit was just getting channeled. Just a lot of jokes and shit. I'm like, oh, well, she about to shoot that missile somewhere. She's gonna stick it. It's gonna be some. It's gonna be some delicious granny, uh, futinary. Uh, hermaphrodite female porn scene about to come up. Uh, the scene always wanted from a from an anime like Ruby and whatnot. So you know, I was on the edge of my seat was coming off. But no, seriously though, uh, it may have been juicing it, but yeah, that's just one of the many uh, quips I'm gonna do in this video because that's what was run through my mind. Honestly, I, I'm just a really just uh, hang ten ass uh, type of person. Y'all y'all already know me from my previous thing. I'm just a really chill ass, Hank Ten ass person. You know, everything be crossed my mind and you know, it's just should be treated as a joke. Like most of the shit I be seeing on here is a joke and that's what category should be thrown in. Jokes. Everything that stays in my head stays in my head. I, half the things I do, I honestly don't mean it. Half the things I do, I say it's only for jokes or pranks or gags and that's really just about it. Or maybe not even pranks because I really don't like pranks, especially when it happens towards me. I know I'm, I'm a sore loser, but no, seriously though, actually, uh, this is actually a really good episode. Even with the with the Cunnel line fight scene was pretty good. Uh, and then, although I found it really weird how uh, how um, uh, Oscar Lily just pulled this uh, brainiac tactitional uh, part out of his head on how to. Stop Cali Vera, but uh, I guess you know it's, it's supposed to illustrate you know you know him sizing up his opponents, you know him growing and whatnot, despite barely seeing him even throw a punch in the scene. But yeah, it's made to illustrate that you know, like you know he's sizing up his opponents. He's you know he's he's being really analytical. You know he's he's getting he's he's working up the pipe. So yeah, at first I was like, how the hell is he knowing this? This feels just like when Ray. Broke the piece of the ship and said she fixed the Millennium Falcon. But actually, when I came to look at it, I was like, no, actually, he's supposed to more or less further illustrate that, uh, you know, he's working up the pipe. You know, he's he's going to officially be one of them, one of the main uh, hunts, huntsmen and huntresses 
Like he's working up the fight. So yeah, actually, I kind of thought his little plan was actually pretty good. It was it's that's character development. Like you know, he's working up the pipe. He, pipe. He's sizing up. He's being you know really observative and collective and whatnot. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And you already know I had to get to the pretty much the whole selling point of this episode was. Uh, 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 Blake and Blake and Yang versus uh, Adam or Rick Grim Jail. Uh, pretty much, actually, this is pretty much one of the best parts of the episode. To be honest, like, to be honest, like this, it was. I mean, yeah, like I said, it keeps. I, or I just said it. It's a selling point of it, but pretty much, this is the like. Like, this is li literally where all the suspense like finally kicks off. You know, like it's 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 right there, and every drop of it is just. Delicious! <laughs> this is delicious! But no, seriously, yeah. It's just that particular scene. Like, it was just really just well put together. There was a lot of emotion being evoked into it. Uh, the, the, the the choreography was top-notch. It had this really Monty Ohm spin to it. Uh, and like, again, like I said in my previous episode, dealing with choreography, and Volume 6 of Ruby, like, you can tell, like, you know, this time around, you know, like the 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 the, the animators, the the writers, you know, they're finally putting their whole foot into this. You know, they're actually trying to make it perfect. Uh, although if they try to do make it seem Monty Ohm ish, they kind of put their own they split. You know, their splits and splatters of their own little, uh, you know, artistic and creative properties in it. So yeah, the choreography in that scene in general was really top notch and whatnot. So yeah, they applaud it. But yeah, that's pretty much. One of the main parts of the whole of that whole particular fight, the choreography was like great. Even the part with the knight with the with uh, Blake's sword, where she threw the the rope around and and Yang grabbed it and to propel her to kick at him. So yeah, I thought that part uh, at first I was like, huh, what the fuck's she doing? But no, when he was leading it up, I was like, oh man, this is like really fucking good. Like like it's just it's really creative. It's you know, it, it does its thing. So, yeah, I actually really did like the choreography in this episode. It was really top-notch. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, the, the, although, hell yeah, how hammy the emotion was in this, it was like, it was actually kind of really convincing. Like, it, although I don't like Adam, uh, Ray Grimjail, it didn't really make me kind of, at one point, care about, you know, the situation at him in particular. But the situation was going on and, Pretty much what's going on, and pretty much at one point, I just pretty much said the fucking same thing. But no, seriously, uh, it made me actually, it, it, I actually, at this time around, I actually was invested in what was going on. I actually was uh, uh, pumped. It actually, you know, made me, like, I was actually, you know, in it. You know, it, it, it got me into it. It was really well, the, 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 the overall emotion was evoked really well in this episode. That's pretty much all I got to say about that part. And I kind of also felt like, this really cool concept they did somewhere in the episode where uh, there's really one part where Blake is thrown down a cavern and of course you know she holds on to a rock and whatnot and this like the cutaway scene is literally like about give or take like give or take one a uh, full one whole minute uh, excuse me section of uh, Yang and, and, and Adam uh, dishing it out like, you know, like, like, this is where, you know, you actually see Moon Slice, like, you know, being utilized more than once or sparingly. Like, you know, actually, like, it, it goes to show, like, you know, Adam is really, you know, putting his whole foot into this. Like, you know, there's too much on this on the line he's losing because he wants to get back in them sweet cheeks, uh, 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 Blake's, uh, uh, your cheeks. So, you know, it was all about, which was actually one thing that kind of really bothered me the most in this episode. And it just only made me feel like just more detached about Rick Rim Jail. He was, he was just, you know, eh, what did she see in you? <laughs> it just made him look like a whole bitch in this. I'm like, come on, man. It, she, you tried to kill her. If you really love this woman, then why the fuck are you trying to kill her? So, yeah, this one man, was kind of hammed up a bit. Like, it kind of didn't make sense. But, you know... It won't, it, but although at the same time they actually did, I did feel invested into it and whatnot. So yeah, you know, just through, more or less throughout half of the fight, he just kept talking about, you know, what did she see in you, Yang? That she doesn't see in me, you know. That's the typical thing. What did she? What does he got that I don't got? So yeah, they were hamming up a bit, but it was still 
suspenseful. It still kept me into it. Like every moment, it just like I was just got my eyes just glued onto it uh, and whatnot. And then, um, and then at one part, uh, Yang pretty much uh, fucking washed his uh, uh, washes um Ray Grim Jail. <laughs> she washes Ray Grim Jail. And even though this quote was like really dumb and it was like really, you know, Terminator, you've been terminated or a uh, or, uh, predator, you are one ugly motherfucker or, or the warriors, I told you they're a bunch of whips. Like, I know I may be just doing a lot of references instead of getting to the meat and potatoes, but more or less that's what that line felt like. But honestly, I actually did feel like it was, you know, appropriate and it was kind of fitting in a certain way. Where she, where, uh, where Lily Adam was at the precipice of, you know, his moon slice and his power. And he, you know, went in to land that one, that one last shot at Yang and she caught it, of course. And, you know, she, she, uh, countered by saying, it's not the fastest, uh, uh Ray Green Jail. I'm the smartest or something. And she fucking body blows him and he fly across the stage and, uh, the, 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 the uh, the the uh, mountaintop and at that point his uh his uh, uh his uh aura was completely depleted and you know he was pretty much fucked from that part and then you know Yang does the uh, Yang does the wit away and throws his sword down the cavern he tries to get it Yang sure you can tell him. I mean not not Yang Blake she because she jumps back out from the cavern she sure you can tell him. uh. And then there's literally the unspeakable. I'm like, wow, they they killed Adam like just just this early. I thought they was gonna, you know, hand this fight up. Like, oh no, he actually he actually bit it. He, he got put on his shirt. Uh, Yang stabs him. Literally stabs him in the back with a piece of Blake's sword. And and Blake stabs him with her end of or at least what's ever left of it. And of course, you know, they got really '80s action movie esque. You know, he was oh, walking for a minute towards the cavern, then he fell on his knees, and he fell off the cavern, and he cracked his head up against the bottom of the cavern and fell into a lake, and pretty much that's all she wrote and whatnot, and that's for further speculations uh, on what I'm going to get to after I'm pretty much finished, more or less telling my piece on it whatnot, like, it was the suspense, the suspense was there and the lead up was great. It was really great in this episode. Um, and more or less, uh, Blake pretty much realized she kills Adam and she more or less falls in a, in a, she pretty much falls in a puddle of her own tears. And then, of course, you know, Yang comforts her and hugs her and all that and, and whatnot. Like, yeah, it's finally over. Because I'm pretty sure when they both stabbed him, well, that whole fight in general, but I think. I think that the real closure of the of, of their whole the whole little squabble between the three of them was when both of them stabbed them. That was the the absolute what well, I consider the absolute closure of this episode. And I feel like it was nailed off like really really fucking great when they both stabbed them. That that they that that was closure. Like they that but that represented like it's finally over. All this shit's gone. All this shit you know it's it's over. All the fighting, their dirt. Well, at least their dispute, of course. It's, it's finally over. Like, the job's been done. It represents closure for the both of them. So, yeah. I uh, pretty much thought that was pretty great. And although I may sound uh, a bit, you know, uh, a little pervy in this scene <laughs> when I say this, but, uh, well, you know, like I said, it's pretty much a stone settler that, that Bumblebee, that Bumblebee exists. It's a stone settler. Like, you know, it, it's it's crystal clear now that they're eventually going to get to each other. And just like, again, closure. Uh, you know, when they were embracing each other, Yang was holding her face, hugging her. Oh, she was crying in her arms, all that shit. Uh, <laughs> I kind of felt like it would have been, been closure. <laughs> it's pretty much my favorite word today. Uh, but no, seriously, it would have it been closure if, you know, they, like, embraced for, like, a deep kiss. I can't believe <laughs> I just hold on, hold clear when I say this, like, cause you know, like, you know, all the shit's finally over. I feel, I feel like, you know, if they would have kissed, you know, it would have really sold the scene, cause, you know, it's been a long wake, and 
You know, they've been battling against each other. They've been battling against the Grim. They, they've been battling against the White Fang and, and, and Greg Grimjow. And it's finally all over. And pretty much that scene in general pretty much confirms that they're a couple. And I feel like, I know a little less, but still, I feel like it would have made more sense, you know, if they shared a, a, a deep kiss with each other and it's just going to end it. Uh, I know people's going to attack me for it, like, why are you spamming lesbianism in, in whatnot, but, or, you know, you're a homophobe, or, because some people might bring that up, although, you know, I fully volunteered for them to kiss, because they would have pretty much finally closed the book and, you know, finally confirmed it, because um, uh, the writers may pull something else, but I don't think you can really tell the viewers otherwise what's going on. It, it's pretty much crystal clear with their little embrace and their fight with Adam that they're going to be a couple soon. So, yeah. I'm not pushing a ship or nothing. I'm not I'm not selling any ships, but I'm saying it's kind of, it's kind of like really obvious now, especially with, uh, especially with that very scene and fight in general. So, yeah, I think it would have ended off they would have kissed each other. And like I said before, uh, to defend my concept on the homophobe thing, because I know that's what may, some people may bring up in the com comment section, although I'm advocating it in this scene. What I'm saying, I'm, uh, I like, you know, there's a lot of LGBTQZDWE characters I like in, in fiction. And I would, I'm actually, I'm all right with this, despite, you know, I don't at all like Yang, but you know, it, it would make more sense, you know, and Ruby for a long time was trying to push the whole uh, lesbian or, or, or uh, homosexual uh, couples and Ruby for like, for, since forever, so, you know, I'm all right with it, pretty much my two favorite characters from Legend of Korra are gay, I'm fine with, with Korra, and, with Korra and, and, and Asami, I love Asami, by the way, his favorite character, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm completely fine with it, and, and actually would have made more sense, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got to say on that piece, but in general, that, that scene, that whole fight scene in this episode of general was really fucking good, and, of course, I'm going to have to mention the ending, how uh, they pretty much uh, wrecked uh, Cali, uh, uh, Cunny Ver uh, Cunnilan shit and, you know, all the anger and frustration and all that pretty much laid a lot of grim to that one place. Like, uh, like that, that's pretty much the main reason. I'm like, why the fuck y'all fighting this? Yeah, are y'all trying to get killed by grim? They're attracted by a negative emotion. Y'all yeah. kind of just asking to be, you know, just thrown in, in a ditch in a grave so yeah and especially this whole part they put a lot of inferences on uh this really godzilla uh grimzilla that's what i call it, this really godzilla inspired looking grim coming towards the city and that's pretty much where it cuts off and honestly i think i actually would have shed a brick if uh god if uh grimzilla would have did the godzilla roar <laughs> that's it i would have actually shot a, a, a shit a break if they did that but that's pretty much all I got to say on that part, but yeah. Uh, it was a pretty good um, episode, actually. It was a really fucking good episode. Like, and I enjoyed every frame of it. Even uh, Cunnilan and Team Ruby slash Juniper fight was pretty good. It really did sell the scene in this episode. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, and what I think about uh, the, the White Fang, I guess, um, the only thing I can say is probably they're, they're dead finally, or, you know, they might... You know, resort just like how <laughs> uh, the, the, the Black Panther is. He's resorting to just small gangs now after the FBI broke him up and whatnot. So I think that's that's pretty much what they're going to infer with uh, what they're going to what they're going to refer to uh, with the fate of uh, what's left of the White Fang. There's going to be a really small time gang now or something. That's pretty much what I can infer about it. Or they're going to be completely depleted, like eviscerated. Or, you know, or, you know, how Ruby likes to do a 180 and fucking pull the antagonist out their ass and make them or her, him or her, the new lead head, uh, 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 lead head of uh, the White Fang and pretty much opens up a new antagonist for Ruby. So, yeah, it, it, it's, it goes pretty much anyway right now. It's it's a whatever pretty much scene, so to speak. It, something might happen. They might be depleted. Someone might take the place. They might be just reduced to a small gang now, pretty much battling out in each other completely. 
before they completely wipe each other out. So it may be anything. It's just speculations and whatnot. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Uh, I'm going to give it an adequate. This was like a really good episode. I may have said it a thousand times, but you know I'm going to say it a thousand and one times. This was a great episode. I give it uh, I give it exceptional. I said adequate earlier. No, I meant exceptional. I, I got my tongue tied. But yeah, you already know. Uh, this buddy, y'all can check out uh, all the other social media platforms that's, you know, that's on my channel. So y'all can check them out and whatnot. See what's going on. I'm posting more work on because uh, artwork and photography and whatnot. Honestly, I didn't, I, I don't, at one point I didn't have enough time to actually do any illustrations or art. But I feel like I, you know, I got enough time now to do it. So Y'all can check out the new piece, the new piece I put on uh, DeviantArt or Twitter or anything. Y'all can check it out, see what's going on. Uh, probably somewhere in this week, I'm going to finally get to that, uh, uh, reviewing that uh, Ice Cube, uh, that that uh, new Ice Cube album review. I'm going to get to that somewhere this week. So anyone who's probably made them think about it when I mentioned it in my Reflection of 2018 video, uh, I'm going to get to it when I get to it, probably somewhere this week. So uh, keep a big eye out on that one. Do that. But yeah, keep a big eye out on the review. Y'all going to see it soon, probably somewhere this week. And I feel like it's most important that I should have done it sooner. But again, I don't have enough time. And yes, technically, YouTube, making these YouTube videos is a form of art, expression and critique and whatnot. So yeah, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to it I, somewhere this week. Uh, that, I, that I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to. Uh, and I feel like it's most important because Ice Cube is literally amongst one of my favorite rappers of all time. And, you know, I think it's a priority for me to do that review as soon as possible or anytime I get to it. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. If y'all like the video, drop me a like. Subscribe if you like content like these and whatnot. And yeah, y'all already know the drill. Comment on how y'all feel about this video or how y'all feel about the episode. Uh, how y'all, do y'all think Adam is dead or, you know, they're gonna pull him back out the grave or some shit like that? Do you think the white, the white thing is gone for goods, for goods, or you think someone's gonna take up the mantle, or are they gonna be broken down to smaller gangs, or, you know, the, the questions are limitless, so tell me what y'all think about it below, and tell me what y'all think about the video too, below, and whatnot. Uh, y'all can hit my Twitter, uh, my, my Twitter, um, account anytime uh i'll be there to, to ask y'all questions and whatnot and uh six seconds more or less uh is dropping a new album uh the first of next month so uh pretty much got a lot of work to do more so to speak so yeah you know i'm gonna be right on that album as soon as it comes out whatnot so yeah that's all about it uh it uh y'all stick around and whatnot for my a future review somewhere this week or probably next week or anytime I get around to it but I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pretty much get through it this week so yeah stick around for my my Ice Cube album review and like always man that storm is watching y'all